Hi, this is Kim Pinkney and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, so today I am continuing on with my uh, Throwback Thursday image. I had started this, uh, I want to say a few weeks ago, um, but I lost a lot of footage, so I haven't uploaded it. And I saw some, uh, this is Speed Racer, and I saw some things that I wanted to uh, fix, particularly his legs. Um, I've done a couple different versions, one where he has a helmet on his head, and the other one where he's got it kind of near his crutch. Uh, this was the original start. And I begin all my work with a sketch. kind of loosens me up and gives me an idea of where things are going to go. Then I try to clean it up a little bit once I'm kind of satisfied with the sketch of where it's going to be. Uh, when I was first starting out drawing, I would always start with the eyes and then found out that as I, as I went, and I've seen this with a lot of um, artists that I can't fit the rest of the body in. But luckily with uh, Procreate, you can start anywhere you want and then you can just kind of downsize it. But I've gotten to the point where um, I'm a little bit more confident where I can do a sketch and then, uh, you know, work around and, and get what I need. So, um, he's got these weird pants, uh, Speed Racer. You know, because it was, it was kind of like the 60s type of thing. So, I had to kind of keep that in mind as well. I wanted to kind of make him buff, kind of like a cheesecakey type of thing. Um, kind of getting caught outside, uh, you know, posing. And, uh, of course, uh, Chim Chim and Spritel are in the trunk. So I did a quick sketch of that. Never liked these two characters. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> there were more problems than they were worth. So what can you do? They're kids. So I'm not really great at drawing cars. So I just kind of winged it on this. And I ended up finding a, a picture of the uh, Mach 5, but it was a toy car. So. Uh, that's where I am so far. Now some of the others I had uh, drawn Pops Pops Garage and this is the footage that I had lost um, at least part of it and I just uh, kind of cleaned it up uh, this morning And Pops was always pictured, uh, let me see if I can find um, the source image for Pops. Uh, la, 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 la. Here we are. I'll just move this over. And this is what Pops kind of looks like. I can't fit that both in at the same time, sorry. Let me see if I can squeeze this in a little bit. Nope, that makes it smaller not helpful but yeah so <clears throat> I got pops uh hauling a big ass tire he's about ready looking like he's like oh, he brought the the Mach 5 in again <laughs> uh yeah so there we go and if you feel froggy you can always toss something behind him garage like that's in uh the link is in the description to download these guys the other one that I had done, I had cleaned up the image um, in Adobe Draw, I think it is. Excuse me, and um, I added uh, the checkers to this. Let me see. And I also put his helmet on his head. Gave you a little bit more speed racer. But I still think that the legs are super awkward. These guys didn't you know, really translate well when they were 
made smaller. So, I do like how I did the checkered flag. Oh, and there's also Racer X. Um, I'm not a really big car artist. <laughs> so, I just pretty much have uh, Racer X here. Yeah, there's only room for one in this vehicle, but you know, pick wherever you want to ride. Just fix a few things here. Helps to be on the right layer. There we go. And I just redid his logo. And the number nine. Okay, so that was Racer X and Let's see, let me go ahead and export this before I forget. Um, here's a quick replay. Now once I have an idea of what I want to draw, um, executing it is not that big of a problem. It's just finding the source images to make sure I got what I need like what this guy looks like, what this vehicle looks like. Yeah, I've always been more of a people person than an objects type person. That's why I, I kind of get kind of cringed when I come across coloring books that have um, uh, great backgrounds and stuff, but really crappy people. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so let me go ahead and ex export this one. So I'll go to share the JPEG image. If you're having any problems um, downloading the images or anything like that, let me know and I will... I gotta change the name, gosh darn it. I, I could put it in a different format. I didn't do it. There we go. And it is Throwback Thursday, Vintage Beefcakes. And we're going to save it there. There's a Betty Boop picture in there. And I believe Candace um, from Coloring with Candace is doing um, a, a little contest if you do uh, Bozo the Clown or uh, one of the other guys from uh, these files. Now we're going to call this Racer X. And I'm just go ahead and upload that. Get that out the way. <laughs> it gave me Racer S. <laughs> God, dandruff. Can't win. Okay, so let's get back to speed. Now, I found a picture. I kind of like how these legs look. Let's see. I'm thinking I can either leave the legs like this or I can kind of make them a little beefier. I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm not too far off from what I want to do. Let's see. I'm going to clean up the entire image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the image and I'm going to drop the opacity. And I found that um, I really liked using a particular brush in Procreate. Um, it is the... Oh, let me make another layer because I'm always on the wrong layer. The Syrup Brush. It's the closest thing to, that I could find to the brush that I use in um, Adobe Draw without having to switch over. Okay. And about four, four or five is pretty good. Five is, I think, is good for the background or outline. His face looks a little too baby face for me. Let me pull up a picture of speed here. I'm going to downsize this just a smidge. We'll just slide that over. And speed. What did I do with your picture speed? Uh, that's Racer X. Let's see. There he is. 
too many vendors. So I'm going to kind of use this one right here and see if we can kind of bring them both together. Now his nose looks a little rounded in the picture. Oops, bring that down to about two. Give him a slightly bigger smile. Maybe not. Maybe a little smaller. And one of the things I liked about Speed Racer is that uh, he has a nostril. A lot of anime uh, didn't have nostrils back in the day. Or even current day. It's annoying. It's like, how do you breathe out of that nose? It always bothered me. Still bothers me. Give him some nice eyelashes. Well, they shouldn't be that thick. Let's tame them just a smidge. Not by much, though. Love those eye shines. Now some of the things I wasn't sure if I should like do the yeah, I think these would be like way too small to try to color. So I'll just go ahead and fill that in. Now I I started looking at these and going, you know, there's really not a lot here to color. A lot of his stuff is white. So we'll just bring that on over to save your black crayon. So I wanted to give him kind of like a little wicked, wicked look, but not not too big, a little bit more like confidence. His head is a little wide. Let's see if we can bring that in a little bit. He does kind of look a little buff. The wider the neck, the buffer he looks. Like beefy. Yeah, we'll keep that beefy look, why not? This beef kick, beef cake. Um, now I'm not sure what his hair looks like. Let me see. Bring this back over. I'm just checking to see if I've got. Yeah, it's rare to see him without his hel his helmet on. Okay, I got a picture. Let me see if we can kind of emulate his hair just a smidge. Now, what I'm using here is Google Slides. So like if you guys have an idea of an image or anything like that, I can use my Google Slides. Let me see if this will let me push this in a little bit. And we can share, you can share images with me. And um, I can use that as source images. All you need is uh, my email address. Ooh, that looks a little flat, like a hammerhead. Uh, let's see. Let's give him a little bit more poof. We could probably make his ears a little smaller. Let 
was I usually his hair isn't that long in the front but I thought it would be kind of like sexy if it just kind of comes over a little bit further sexiful bring his neck in a little bit let me get rid of some of my little stray lines here that we don't need Let's see do, 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 do. Well, actually we'll keep that that red scarf I'm going to raise this up a bit to about five give us a better outline okay I think that'll be okay And then we'll take another look at it. Let's see, I want to change his chest just a bit. I wasn't in the chat now I am kind of sorta so if you guys have any questions or comments uh, feel free to share okay let's see dee, 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 dee. where were we oh yeah do, 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 do. what can I do for you Let me get back to whoops the face alrighty and then we'll zoom out a little bit because so I need that helmet one more time yeah, let me know which one you like best uh, if you think I should add the helmet back so you know I think the scarf should be a little looser around the neck let's see let's do that because it does look a little not as masculine if it's not a little bit lower so let's do that there we go this makes me want to draw Fred from Scooby-Doo Because he's got like an ascot as well. Let's see. Let's make his his pectorals a little bit more interesting to look at. Oh, should I draw nipples or no? No, you guys can add your own damn nipples. <laughs> you have to do everything. some cartoon abs let's just give him some
let's see, so his arm should come out more like this. We have him holding his helmet. I can't remember if he was... I think he does wear gloves, doesn't he? Hold up. Let's see if we can take a peek here. Yeah, he does. Interesting. Which I guess he has to... He's got his helmet. See, it has a round part, but like right there. Oops. Gotta think round. So, thinking round. Get the hint of where his arm would be. And that's how the folds will kind of come over Oops. make that his wrist and we'll just kind of have the flag come down like that a little bit we'll give him more thigh bring his pants in just a smidge I want to I think I want to put him like on a racetrack of some sort It's kind of funny because there's not a lot to color. I mean, his pants are white. His, his, uh, if he had his shirt on, it'd be blue. His scarf is red. Let me make sure that the M is done. There we go. So this is the visor. Let's give it a like a little highlight. Okay. I'm not sure if I like the abs. Let's see. I'd like to give him a tattoo or something. Let's see. Let's turn this off for a sec. So if this uh, video is a little too long for you, um, there will be a speed draw uh, with just music. So never fear.
Let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring his wings out a little bit further. Let's see. We'll just have... that come out that way. Yeah, the video I was going to do this morning, I was going to do um, uh, caricatures, show you step by step how I uh, will draw my uh, niece and nep niece over again and my nephews uh, for like very, very late Christmas gifts <laughs> or early birthday gifts, I guess you could say. I missed both their birthdays and Christmas. Yes, I've never been on tan like that. Nah, nah, this uh, this holiday was very interesting. A lot of working, which is a good thing, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> looks like a little boy let's see we should make him a little bigger make his head a little bigger and it's probably because of the uh, the roundness of his face and uh, shortness of everything else okay Okay, and let me know if you guys prefer, um, what is it called, the shaded images, uh, with the, uh, the little tones, because I can always add that in there to make it look a little bit better, too. We are missing a bit of the, let me turn this back on so I can see the scar. That was kind of doo-doo anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys busted out. And I think I'll put them on their own layer for the moment. Oops, too big. Okay, I'm going to use their source image. Let me see if I can find it. There they are. Yeah, this is how I always remember them as uh, just like this. <laughs> Annoying. Let's go fight. Let's go ride with speed. Yeah, at the age where, you know, these kids were, when I was a kid and I was watching this, I'm like, ooh, you gotta get a butt whooping. And how they escaped getting one was beyond me. I figured everybody got a spanking. It wasn't until old, when I was older that I realized grounding could have been an option in the discipline. It's like, what? You mean I could have escaped getting my butt wolf if just by staying inside? Huh. I was an inside cat anyway, so what can you say? All right. We'll make his a little bit bigger here.
and we'll just kind of have him hanging off the fender here. Yeah, there's a lot here that I missed um, the first time around when I had uh, was drawing this. Let's see what time is it? Oh, I better speak, step it up so I can be ready for Thursday here. Okay, don't forget the hat. Chim-Chim's got like a little bit of red around his eyes. Oops. Sometimes when you uh, try to adjust the screen, it kind of moves a bit. Let's see. It leaves a line. Da-da-da-da. Uh, Let's see, we'll make this a little smaller. Now it looks jagged because we're up close. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Part of me wants to change this so that they catch like speed peeing or something like that. It's like speed, what are you, ooh. <laughs> They're always in the wrong place. No privacy, no privacy. There's a hump where this back is. There's the windshield. I'll bring out the car in a bit. There's the trunk. I don't know if I want to split this finger. Yeah, I guess it'll that should work. It's a really terrible car. 
at least my rendition of it. Let me see if I can find the, the source image for the car. There it is. I forgot about the hubcaps and the rims. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see since it's kind of blurry. If I can fill that in with black. This should be like a gray tone and not black. Let's see. Let's give it a gray. Cooler gray. There we go. That's darker. Just going to give it like a little gradient. Oh, all right. No idea. I'll let I'll let the colors figure it out. <laughs> I have no clue. All right. Let's see. Go back to black. Okay, this part should be like gray. is a dark tone here too. Yeah, the only cars that I like drawing are like like the Disney cars, you know, like uh from the Pixar or whatever cartoon. It's not even a cartoon. Animated feature. This I can barely see any of the details. I apologize, I failed you as an artist. 
Because I hate drawing cars. I don't mind doing like a caricature of somebody as like a, a car, but let's see. This needs to pop up just a smidge. We'll use liquify. We'll just kind of nudge it upwards, make it a little bigger. And this can move over just a bit. Oops. Okay. Let me move the car a bit. And we'll work on that five. Oh, I forgot all about that stuff in the back. Okay, so there's that wing here. This kind of puffs up a bit. And a lot of this we're not going to see because of him being in the way. Let me turn this off for a sec. It's funny, um, I've been drawing in Procreate uh, for so long that I forget when I'm like uh, coloring or something like that and I'm trying to get into a particular area I'm gonna just kind of hint at the curve here that I try to do the little shortcut for expanding a, and, and decreasing a picture so I can get the details in I've caught myself doing that a lot when I'm I'm drawing uh, traditionally I don't know, do I want to, yeah, I guess I will. I was going to put like a little area so that whoever's coloring it could put their initials on the, uh... oh, that looks nothing like that, Kim. on the uh, license plate. Make it a little bigger. This speed's gonna cover up some of that. Ugh, that looks awful. Now the one thing that um, for drawing the coloring books, it's making me, a, I'm hoping, a better um, inker, I think that's what they call it. And it's like, I'm an outliner. Because I never really appreciated um, the line. I've always been so scratchy with my my stuff. Let's see. These are cylinders. Just kind of think of them as. bit further. 
God, I love how close I can get. Okay. Oops. I think to be a little merciful, I'll go ahead and do just a little bit of shading. Yeah, but if you guys prefer me to draw some of these pictures in grayscale, I can do that. Um, a lot of uh, the pictures that I've seen, uh, the grayscale images look pretty gosh darn good colored. a little bit of a gray tone right oh, right here let's see I want to yeah I'll just leave it alone okay all right speed come back that tire looks wonky like like it's about broken <laughs> Let's see. See if we can fix it. It's like my perspective is off. We'll nudge it. Let's see if that'll let us nudge it. Uh, make it a little smaller. <laughs> I don't mind having a flat tire. Let's see if we can do this. Let's kind of select it. And then we'll kind of use distort and tuck it in a little bit. Looks better than it was. Not by much, but there we go. Okay, so this fender part here kind of has this, it comes out a little bit and then comes up a little bit. All right, we'll see how we're standing. Uh, we'll give speed. Let's see, let's switch it to my favorite, <laughs> my favorite brush. Yeah, coffee makes a monkey out of me. Let's, let's make his logo too. That way we have something to put in the background here. We'll turn off the, oops that one right there eh, it looks a it looks okay all right let's make his logo or something similar to that uh, add text let's see I don't think I have a racing font I wonder how this would look. That does not suck. Let's see. You know, instead of saying um, 
go speed go it might be like you go speed <laughs> <laughs> okay if I can it's a go go racer go go speed racer I hate how everything jumps in the way. All these little thingies in the way, in the way. I wonder if this can move. It doesn't. Okay. It goes where the words are. Okay, you go, speed. <laughs> that way I don't get sued or anything like that. Um, let's go ahead and distort this. And we can make it a little smaller. And we'll distort it again. Yo, go, speed. Ah, Kim can't spell. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I could do that or let's do speed racer. Oh, I forgot the uh, arm on Spritel. See if there's anybody in the chat to ask what they think. What do you think? What should we put? Nobody. Crickets. Nobody's up to this hour. What's wrong with you, Kim? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do better with the fonts here. Nah. Nah. That's almost cute. That's not too bad. <laughs> like these little cartoon fonts. Yeah, I, I don't have anything that is like a racer font. I remember to capitalize the S. A lot of these look the same. <laughs> okay. I don't hate that one, but I think I want to give it, make it big enough so that people could color the letters. That's pretty cool. Eh. We could probably make it work. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the outlines of this. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. I like how it's kind of staggered like that, but I want to distort it just a smidge. Not 
not too much or else there we go and I forgot to capitalize the damn S Ooh, that looks different. Is that the same font? That's grapple. Oh, no, it's not even the same font. There it is. Is that even capitalized? Yeah. I guess for this, yeah, because the R is uh, lowercase. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, let's give it that IR Speed Racer. Oh, I want to bring the letters closer together. Double click. Come on, select all. And then... Now it's either the is it leading. Yeah. I wonder if anything could connect. Nah, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. Anybody got time for that? Let's distort. Ready in time for Throwback Thursday. Let's, we should give it some like little racing streaks or something like that. Let's see what we got. Um, oh, I know. 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 Uh, no, but this will be like, it'll be smeared. Let's try something. Um, we'll duplicate this. And motion blur. I'm trying to get it just enough. It's going, it's blurring in the wrong direction is the problem. Hmm. I wonder if I can work with that. Okay. And then just need to kind of spin it. being lazy Nah Let's see I I wonder if I can get it to let me do this. Mm, was it perspective blur? Something like that. And then make this one a little bit less obnoxious. Let's see if we can move it a little bit.
and then we'll get it off the letters. Whoops. Okay. Let me cheat a little bit. Haha! <laughs> nice! Let me get some of that off the letters here. I don't know. It, yeah, I will take some of it off the letters. I don't mind it being behind. Not too much on the top. Just freaking color. Let's see the top one. There we go. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. There we go. Not too obnoxious. Then we can just duplicate this. And merge them together. Duplicate one more time. Whoops. Is that too much? Not that fast. Okay, there we go. Well, now I can even smudge um, this a little bit more. Let's see. Just a smidge. Uh, da, 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 da. What can I do for you? Oops, too much. All right. I'm kind of happy with that. And it's kind of coming off the, the uh, breaking the border a bit. All right. Last thing. See if we can fix this flag uh, for the racing st stripes. Uh, oop! Did I not? Yeah. Let's see. I need to color in the E at least. There we go. All right. Uh, this part should go pretty easy. Let's do that. Let's see what time is it? Oh, we got time. And I want to fix this too. This looks doo doo. Let's get back on the dude here. Oops. Get back to syrup. Looks 
almost like a tongue. Let's see, instead of erasing with the soft brush, I think I'll erase with the syrup just so that I know it's gone, giz on. Let's see. Just kind of dragging that out a little bit. Uh, let's see. Some of my doo doo outlines here. These are his, these were his gloves. I don't think his gloves kind of folded over. I think they were just kind of out there. Let's see. So to give it a little bit of line weight, I'm just going to go ahead. Everything that is like underneath something will have a harder or thicker outline rather. So like this finger is underneath here. This is lower. I got to erase uh, this right here. Oh, I got to remember to put that five on there too. That speed there. Hurry, Kimberly, hurry, gotta go work. Okay, um, let's clean these up. Back to, I'm about to merge these layers. It's, it's annoying trying to figure out what layer I'm on. Okay, and let's do this with the yeah, I'm merging. Bump it. Oops. That way I am Zar. I wanted to give it like a shadow underneath here. Kind of like what he's got going on here. It gives him a little bit of weight. Do the underside of his foot. I want this foot to kind of come over the edge here.
Break those borders. Who's the man? Who's the man? Okay. Yeah, one of the things that um, kind of upset me about um, a book that I'm going to be reviewing soon is that all they did with their grayscale is they only outlined, they only did the face. They only grayscaled the face. It looked kind of weird, kind of like how somebody would put makeup on somebody and um, the rest of the body like didn't match the colors. That's what it, it looked like to me. It, I'm like, why didn't you guys just grayscale everything? Give everything depth. depth. Okay, anyway, that's wine, wine, wine. Okay, so I'm going to try to take these. Erase this. Because it seems to make the arm look short, and I don't like that. I don't mind that it folds a bit. His arm looks flat here. Let me kind of bulge it out a bit. Let you guys have fun coloring these all in. See, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep that line. It kind of looks like a seam. It's unseemly. We'll throw another one on here. I think that's right. Let me check his, check my uh, anatomy here. Let's see, I don't want to have a really harsh line there. I'm just kind of hint that there's a separation. Oops. Give him man cleavage. I could give him shadows. I mean, I gave it shadows here. Let's see. Let's do this. No, we'll give him shadows. Why not? Let's see. Do I have time? I got a little time. Let's try this. Da -da 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 -da. We'll put it on another layer, so in case I don't like it. Okay, and then we'll call this Linear Burn. And we'll give it... Oops. Okay, Linear Burn. 30%. And that'll give it like a transparency. And I got my color fill set. Let's see. Try to decide, do I want to...
Let's see what it looks like without it. Okay, there's that with it. Try to decide if I want to keep the shadow on the nose. Maybe beneath it. Oops. Yeah, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. That looks weird. I'm just kind of, oops. Do just give it a little bit of a shadow where the fingers are. Do that for the car too. Nah. See, and we could go a little bit lighter on the on this layer. This was really super subtle. There we go. Let's see, and I think I'm only outlining beneath the abs here. Throw a little bit of a shadow here. That's not too bad. And then I'll just drop this down just a smidge more. And we'll kind of round out those nipplage here. Oops. I'll bring this down some. Hopefully that'll make it even lighter. No, nope, didn't do anything. Let's see, what does feather do? Oh, I just feathered the crap out of it. Let me clear that. There we go. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can draw a little bit of shadow on the car. Mm, looks like my thing is this like stop because my screen is hold up it's stuck you guys haven't seen anything um, I 
Give me one quick second. I'm going to update my screen. Don't know why it stopped. It's really weird. Oh, my. Looks like my thing froze. Let me stop mirroring for a bit. There we go. Let's see if it'll capture my screen again. I don't know why it froze. There we go. See if it'll update. Mosh beta. So for those of you who uh, I apologize that my screen had frozen, let me go ahead and uh, do a quick replay, and I'll come right back. Hopefully, uh, my video caught it. Do not know. Do not know. Yeah, Throwback Thursday for the month of January. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. You guys, um, feel free to suggest any kind of throwback. Uh, whether you're on um, Coloring with Candace's channel or on my channel, feel free uh, to let me know what you think and um, what you'd like to color. Um, I'm not limited to just cartoons. I can always do uh, parodies of... And I think what I'll do next month is parodies of TV shows. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But... Uh, take old TV shows and put them in like a futuristic type of thing so instead of uh, the Jetsons will be like the Jeffersons as the Jetsons type of thing and this reminds me I gotta fix that five before I go before I upload this Okay, and the last thing I was doing was um, adding shading uh, to Speed Racer. Give them a little bit more depth. Alright. So hopefully you guys didn't miss too much. Okay, let's get that Mach 5 in there. And I think it's just like a basic... Whoops. Let me turn my thingies back on here. There we are. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Oop. Make sure that's about five and it's black. And this is going to have to warp just a bit. Let's see. Add text. what's a good 
something a little bigger. I'm thinking maybe... No, that's Ariel. The one that's like Impact. It should have that. <laughs> As many people that died in that show. Let me see if I can change that to a five. See what it would look like. Eh, too much like an S. All right, come back. I like that. That's pretty. Um, that's close enough. Future is good. Let's see, we'll make it a little bigger. Ooh, when you do the outline. I do not want to cheat anybody out of uh, coloring in a number five. Sweet. My circle sucks though. Let's see, what layer is the circle on? that one. Let's we'll see who can fix that. Wish I could do outlines of my outlines. could have held my finger down, but I've got it someplace else. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Number five. And I'm going to have to warp it to get it to fit properly on the door. Uh, oh, i got to merge. There we go. Should have did both the circle and the five on a different layer. Okay, let's go ahead and hit distort to get the shape going in that direction and warp to kind of bend it. out just a bit. The, the word of the day is bulge. Okay. And I guess that'll work. Let's go ahead and turn off the other layer. See, I need a little separation between the door and the fender. Let's go ahead and fix that. We could throw a little shading on there. move this above that. Okay, so, oops. That's a wobbly circle, but that's okay. We'll keep it for the moment. All right. 
this is wrong. Almost done. This should come up just a smidge more. I really should train myself to do a really good one swoop line. Just kind of follow through. That way I don't have to keep coming back and fixing things like this. I had uh, remember talking to a friend of mine in junior high many, many moons ago. And uh, he was telling me how he was taking a drafting class and he would get marked off for the little things that I'm erasing. And I'm like, oh my god, I couldn't handle it. But it probably would have made me a, a way better uh, outliner. Uh, yeah, because the teacher didn't miss a beat. Your, your line could be just like so gosh darn perfect and he'd catch little things like this and like this where the lines overlap there was no faking it you had to do a perfect line each and every time or else you'd get marked I couldn't handle it I just I'd lose my mind Be meaningful, be purposeful, and you race like the wind. That looks a lot better. Okay, Chim Chim, I'm gonna try to fix you up too, bro. In this neck of the woods. Alrighty. Again, if you'd like to download this and color it, um, it is in the description. And uh, if you do uh, post it, please um, uh, reference it back to us, uh, Coloring with Candace and Throwback Thursday. And Pink Me Kimberly. And if you could, uh, please like and subscribe, um, even though my stupid little screen had uh, died on me. I don't know why it died. It gave me no indication. It has never done that before that I can remember. So I didn't even happen to look up to see that it didn't change when I was doing stuff. Shame, shame. And I don't think my video captured it because my video is only capturing what's on my screen. Okay, so you guys, I hope you have fun with this. Um, I will see you in the next video, which will probably be me drawing my nephews. Or um, showing you how I color. Oh, those are the couple of things that I've got planned. Alright, there's our speed racer. I'll go ahead and upload it right now. And I hope you guys really enjoy Throwback Thursday, and I used to like that cartoon.
Oh, uh, there we go. My drive. Throwback Thursday. Vintage beef cakes. And we'll save here. Alright. It looks like it's uploading now. Alright, you guys. I'll do one last um, uh, speed uh, draw here. Let me make this bigger. For those who are just joining, and there we go. And I'll see if I can explain a little bit um, if you're just joining. Alright, so this was um, my trip down nostalgia horny lane of uh, drawing Speed Racer. He's one of the cartoon characters that I would watch um, in my first bit of the Saturday morning lineup. And yeah, he was the first one that would come on about maybe about six o'clock in the morning or something like that. We started early, got our cereal, got ourselves together, plopped up. So, well, I know I did plop myself in front of the TV and watch my favorite cartoons. The best ones came on around 10 and, and uh, right before noon. But uh, Speed Racer was always the first one that came on. Um, I can't remember what channel he was on, <coughs> but um, it was definitely an interesting start to the, uh, the day. And this would keep me going until I got to, um, let's see, it would be cool cartoon, sucky cartoon, like more kitty stuff, like uh, uh, gummy bears or uh, Smurfs. God, I could have hated the Smurfs. It lasted way too long. Too many episodes and it was all just so damn redundant. And then um, the really cool ones like Thundar the Barbarian or Pirates of Dark Water and stuff like that would come on. And that would be the, like the last and Dungeons and Dragons. Th they, those would be like the last cartoons of the day if they weren't interrupted by uh, the news. That sucked. News sucked. But yeah, love, love, love Speed Racer, the original. I can't speak for the uh, the newer versions. Oh, you know, I missed this part of Spritel. coffee hiccups. <laughs> now if it looked like I did things twice, I kind of did. simply because um, I just didn't like the way they looked initially. Okay, there we go. And the last things I believe were the shadows. There we go. Updating the car just a smidge. Okay, and that's it. There's our third back Thursday for Speed Racer. And I don't, it doesn't look like I have too much time. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the last bit of Spritel in and then update. Let's see. Okay. Oops, I'm still on a racer. It wasn't much of an addition. There we go. I think that'll do it. We'll put a little bit of hand here. Oh crap, I can't remember 
Sridal's clothes. Did he have long sleeves? No, short sleeves. Forgot his the brim of his hat. There we go. And we'll just leave it like that. Again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and upload this rotch now. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm glad I came back in. All right, da da da. Turn this off, and out we go. Okay, remember it's Throwback Thursday. Vintage beefcakes. And I'll put final speed, that way I know which one it is. And just for giggles. I'm going to do a JPEG and I'll upload this to Instagram. Alright, you can follow me on Instagram as well. It's just a regurgitation of what I've got here. <laughs> Alright, take care you guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.